Yo guys, welcome to week three of our portfolio update on Trading212. So I'm going to be doing weekly updates. So I'm going to be going into how our portfolio has performed over the last week. But firstly, so there's been a decline in every sector apart from technology. I'll put a graph up of uh, the S&P sector performance. But as you can see, Infotech is slightly up. Everything is majorly down and well, not majorly, but this is reflected within our portfolio this week. So I discussed this more in my video yesterday, why I'm going to be investing more in REITs. But basically, this is mostly because of Federal Reserve. Um, there was some meeting minutes and there was a very pessimistic view that they were actually going to cut rates anytime soon. This is similar um, for the UK as well, with the Bank of England looking like they're more unlikely to have summer rate cuts as well. So this was indeed reflected within the market. But with that, let's have a look at our portfolio. So, so in our last update, our portfolio closed at £10,825.12. And this week, it's actually £10,834.62. So basically, it's just gone up by £9.50, so just under the £10 mark, which obviously is actually quite bad when I get into how much we've stuck in. And yeah. So that's currently how much our portfolio is worth, but how much have we actually invested? So last week... Our amount invested was £10,132.72 and we have invested £80.57 over this week to get this amount up to £10,213.29. So I explained this more within our previous portfolio updates, but Training 212 actually pays 5.2% on cash held. So due to this, we have actually earned just an extra 4p over a week. Obviously, this does build up over time. It's good to have it there, but it's nothing significant. So, so this is 5.2% interest from our current free throw funds of £36.13. So dividends. I actually did a video with all the upcoming dividends, the dividends we've had from um, so far this week. But we've had some further more coming in this week. So uh, Caterpillar paid a dividend. This was on the 20th of May and it was 54 pence. Lloyd's also paid a dividend this week, which was the highest of the week. And that was £2.68 and that came in on the 21st of May. Then we actually had two come in on the 24th of May. We have Royal Bank of Canada and also Eton. So the first one was Royal Bank of Canada one, which paid us £1.03. And our second one was Eton, which paid us 35 pence. So this meant dividends in this week was £4.60. Bringing our total portfolio value, including our free cash and our portfolio value to £10,870.75. So what have we got upcoming in dividends wise? So um, I'll stick them up here. So if you want to pause it, you can. But um, Agco is coming in on the 14th of June. And we've got Alphabet on the 17th of June. BAE Systems is within a week. Um, so that's on the 3rd of June. We've got uh, GSK 11th of June. So BAE Systems, GSK are, you know, massive FTSE 100 holdings. Um we got IBM on the 10th of June, KKR on the 28th of May, which does actually mean that that one will come in before the next portfolio update. And we got legal in general, which I did say last time, but I believe that um, this one's going to be quite a good dividend for us, um, totaling about £5. Uh, we've also got Microsoft and then we got Reality Income and SAG, which are monthly dividend payers, which I did explain why I've invested in in my REITs video yesterday. So let's break down um, our portfolio with some major changes. So the first one is our long term uh, pie. I really do want to carry on with this. I just need to reshuffle. So basically, um, I sold our holdings of the long term pie, which I did make a video why I'm investing in them the other day um, and I will invest in them. But to be fully transparent, I've stuck it in the almost daily dividends pie. Do I think that this is a better investment than what we'd be investing in? in long-term pie absolutely not so if you're investing i probably go for my long-term pie um if i'm totally honest you probably say well why have you gone and done this well the answer is obviously content this gives me more sustainable weekly videos um videos means that you know i it equates to the same as like a low dividend so uh, i'm hoping that you know over 52 weeks that'll give some money which would probably overturn the amount of money I would get from investing in either pie anyway. And I'd also get dividends from this pie as well. So I'm going to try it out. I think it could be the way to go, but we'll see. 
just for full transparency, I, I believe, I can't remember the exact figure at the time of recording, but from our first video on this, we got five pounds. So obviously you can imagine just like uploading weekly. Yeah, and just like the effect of that building up more than that pie. But saying that, as said, lots of sectors have really struggled um, over the past week because of the delay of rates being cut. And this is fully shown within the pie. As soon as I invest in it, it dropped by 2%, which isn't ideal. But the money I kept into the long term pie is also, although it's only £20 now, just because I want to keep it so the pie doesn't auto delete, also went from really nicely in the profit to 0.85% down. So that one took a tanking as well. So it's just across all sectors. The S&P 500, like always, we're putting £5 a day. So this means that £15 is invested on the Monday. And then this is to equate for basically the market not being open on the Saturday or Sunday. This means that over the week, we have actually invested £35 in this. That's £10 from the last Saturday and Sunday, and then for Monday to Friday. Now, I'll put the graph up I put up earlier, and this actually shows that REITs was the biggest loser this week. And, you know, for the long term, I think it's brilliant, so I'm going to carry on buying it. I love having exposure to this sector, but it's not been a brilliant week for REITs. Um, so I believe in our last portfolio update, we were in green on all of our pies, whereas now with REITs, we're actually a little bit down, which isn't ideal. But as I said, um, technology is actually up and this actually means that our Mag 7 Pi has actually flew up as well. So in the short story, we're down overall. We've had small losses in all of our pies. The big loss is on REITs this week and we've had a bit of a gain on the Mag 7 and we've had a bit of a small gain on our technology stocks. So yeah, that's where we stand. I hope to see you guys next week for the next portfolio update, but peace.